Hello guys, welcome back. Um, today we're going through exercise 1.14 from the Auto of Electronics and this exercise is um, analyzing um, capacitor energy. So let's get started. So the exercise itself is worded very weirdly, um, but essentially what it's asking is to find um, the charge or the energy sorry that is stored in a capacitor and um, it gives us a starting point um, with the equation that's on the screen right now so the du is equal to v i v times the current dt and then the question asks us to take it from there so if it, you're looking at the starting point here so u is the energy stored in a capacitor and is um, unit is joules and V times I times DT is the equation that's given to us in the question. Another question, uh, equation that we know from the electrical theory is the current um, through a capacitor is equal to the capacitance times the change in voltage over time. So C times DV over DT. If we substitute I of equation two into the I of equation one, we get the following equation. So now we get du, uh, the integration of du is equal to the integration of C dV by dt times dt. Um, if we simplify this equation, then basically we can get rid of the dt, divide by dt and the multiply by dt and we can take the capacitance outside the integra integral as it is a constant. From there, we can add in our limits. So one of the things that the question tells us is that we're starting from zero volts and then taking the capacitor voltage up to V or VF in the question. So I've put down the limits for the integral as zero and V. If we solve the integral, we get um, using this formula here. So we have V, um, if you imagine that as X, so that goes to V squared divided by the new power, which is two. So, and then expanding that out, we get the energy stored in a capacitor is equal to the capacitance in brackets, uh, V squared divided by two. So that's bringing the limits in. So we've got V squared divided by two plus a constant that would have been removed when, um, doing the integral minus the lower limit so that's zero v divided by two plus c so you can see we can multiply or we can expand these brackets out to get the following equation so the energy stored in a capacitor so this energy is electrostatic potential energy is equal to cv squared divided by two which is uh, more commonly written as half cv squared for those who struggle a little bit with maths like I do, um, I'll go through the steps um, from here in a bit more detail. So first of all, to solve this integral, we need to use this reference here. Um, generally, there will be a plus C at the end of this integral for the constant that would have been removed when um, the integral is done. Um, so um, I know in this equation, I've got plus C twice, which um, if you imagine that as the integral C and then this is the capacitance, I know that makes it a little bit confusing. Now we end up with basically this equation, but the X is replaced with V over here. Um, and then we uh, replace the uh, V itself with the two limits. So what the the top limit is the final voltage which is v here and the sec uh, the lower limit is zero so uh, we minus one from the other to solve the integral so we do the in, uh, replace the variable with the upper limit so that's v squared divided by two plus c which is from here and then minus the lower limit uh, you place that into the x here um, so that's 0 squared divided by 2 so we've got minus here minus 0 squared divided by 2 plus c 
So now if you um, expand these brackets out, so you got a minus sign in front of here. So um, obviously this goes to zero anyway. Um, then you got minus plus here. So that goes to a minus and you got a plus C here, which both of those cancel out with each other. And um, that all goes to zero. So you basically end up with um, V squared divided by two in the brackets. Um, outside the integral, we have C over here, which is the capacitance, and it's a fixed value. Um, so the capacitance remains, uh, V squared divided by 2 remains. So we end up with this equation here, and which is more commonly written as this. I hope that makes sense. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.